Hi, this is my first experience in digital to analog audio converter. This device is based on the Philips TDA1541A chip and it has been wired up by myself. I have bought the electronic board by Raindrop Hui eBay seller directly from China. I bought the box and invented the design of the front panel. I put a power switch, a VU meter and the source selector controlled by a specific internal board. You can select different inputs, the USB input, the optical input, the coaxial input and there is also a red LED that lets you know when there is data on each input. In the back side of this device there are the coaxial input, the optical input and the USB input. You can also use this device as PC audio board and its audio quality is much better than a standard sound card. Now I'm gonna show you the inside of this device. In the inside you can see the fuse, the transformer, the power on switch and all the wiring. The main board, the filter capacitors, the voltage regulators and this is the TDA1541 chip. This is the SAA7220 that does the oversampling. This electronic board can work both in oversampling mode or non-oversampling mode. I have read enough about non-oversampling philosophy and I was too curious to hear the difference with my ears. Now I can say that if you use the internal uh, digital to analog converter of a CD player or this device in oversampling or non-oversampling mode, you have three different kinds of sound. Hard to say which one could be the best because it depends on your listening tastes. This is the VU meter board a workmate of mine gave me. I build devices like this for my work, so it has been easy for me to do the wiring up. And this is the control board used for selecting inputs. The control board comes together with the main board and I didn't have to solder anything. The package comes exactly as you see it. I also bought the transformer from Raindrop Hui. I was looking for a logo that could remind the 80s in some way and this is the logo I found. Now I'm gonna turn it on. There's a lot of lead on. I guess they are used for some stabilization because it's, it's a cheaper way. Each time you press the select button there's a beep coming from the control board. Here we are in front of the famous TDA1541A chip made by Philips and here we have the SAA7220 4 times oversampling digital filter. My first idea was to put a selector on the front panel in order to switch from oversampling to non-oversampling mode while listening to the music, but this is impossible because the deep switch are connected to the digital data of the chip instead of an enable pin. So you have to turn the device off, remove the SAA chip, change the deep switch position and replace the SAA chip. 
There are four DIP switches under the SAA chip. I wrote NOS and OS just to know and remember the listening position. And this is how it works with the song A Kind of Magic by Queen. <laughs> 